What's going on, everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Oh, God, we're in the future, man. And for the kids who are growing up today, your future is even more bright than ever. Uh, the, the only thing about the future that's kind of scary is that we're electing officials into office that like going to war and killing people. So that might be the only bad part about the future. But when it comes to technology and it comes to trending technology, the future is extremely bright. I remember back when I was in school, uh, as far as entertainment went, the best thing that we had was the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, playing sprite-based games, uh, 2D experiences, and for the most part, for us back then, it was breaking technology. It was super exciting. And in school, this kind of stuff didn't it didn't exist at all. It was just basically a non-topic. Uh, Video games outside of the home space. Now kids have games on phones. We didn't even have cell phones when I was in high school. Uh, now they've got tablets, they've got smart watches, you know, Google Glass, all this new technology exists. And when I was in school, the farthest we ever got that I can recall to playing video games in school was a game called Oregon Trail, where you uh, are tr basically uh, a traveler, you and your family are traveling across the United States trying to get home, and you you've got uh, cattle, and you've got medicine and food, and you've got to stop and barter and, and, and make deals and repair your uh, transportation. Sometimes wheels will break, your animals will get sick, your family would get dysentery. All kinds of crazy stuff would happen in Oregon Trail. And for us, it was kind of like insane technology that all these things could be happening on a video game. And so now people look at games like Oregon Trail as crap. When I was a kid in the third grade, second grade, it was one of the biggest, most exciting things that we could play. And so now with the new technology the kids are growing up with, stuff like that is so dated as dinosaur-like. And now they're actually moving forward with putting games like Civilization into North American high schools. And I think this is really, really cool. I'll drop a link in the description. Civilization 5 is coming to North American high schools next year. Civilization 5 is coming to the classroom. Publisher Take-Two Interactive announced that a modified version of its historical strategy game Civilization 5 is in the works and is expected to be available for high school classes in North America starting next fall. Called Civilization EDU, the company says, quote, provide students with the opportunity to think critically and create historical events, consider and evaluate the geographical ramifications of their economical and technological decisions, and to engage in systems thinking and experiment with the casual correlative relationships between military technology, political and socioeconomical development, end quote. In order to create the new version of the game, Take-Two and developer Firaxis partnered with a company called Glass Lab, which is adding analytics tools to Civ 5, so the teachers will be able to keep track of their students' progress. It will also include tools like tutorial videos and lesson plans. Glass Lab develops its own education-focused games, but is also partnered with companies like EA to create new school-appropriate versions of popular franchises like SimCity and Plants vs. Zombies. Other big-name games have also made a similar shift. Earlier this year, Microsoft announced Minecraft Education Edition, which is currently in beta. Series creator Sid Meier said in a statement, quote, For the past 25 years, we found out that one of the fun secrets of civilization is learning while you play, end quote. While the new Civilization EDU won't be available in schools until next fall, 2016 is still an important year for the franchise. Uh, I think this is actually really, really awesome, man. Well, Civilization, learning about history through Civilization is giving the gamer or giving the student a visual reference to what may have happened. And, and when you have a visual reference, it, it makes things more real to you than reading text. I'm a, I'm a gamer. I love gaming. I don't play the Civilization games. I'm not really heavy into that or Sims or things like that. But I think this is a great direction to move forward because people didn't know it 20 years ago. People had no idea that the future was video games. People had no idea. Uh, there was probably a small group or a, a minority group of gamers who really pushed for the innovation and, and brought us to where we are now, to where pretty much video games is one of the number one mediums on earth. People game all the time in so many different aspects of life. Mobile, PC, home console, everywhere you go, people are playing some kind of game. And so uh, I think it only makes sense to bring things like Civilization to the classroom. The, the exciting ramifications are all the other games that can be brought 
to the classroom that can really give students a true visualization of past events and possible future ones. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Are you in high school? Would you enjoy being able to play a game like Civilization to learn about the past in one of your classes? I think it's really, really awesome. Be sure to let me know what you think. Give a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Facebook and on Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.